I am Max Records, age 9, 4 foot 4 inches, date of birth, June 18, 1997. Max Records, who plays Max in the movie, he's like the real heart of the film. Max Records. Max Records was Max. We were looking all over the place for Max. That's why I could see, I don't know, probably not everyone, but pretty close to. Yeah. I know Kim and Justine have been seen hundreds and hundreds of kids, maybe more. And Keener's helping me too, and she's been helping me narrow stuff down and also read with the kids. It's funny because I was working in Oregon and Lance Bangs, he shoots a lot for Spike and lives in Portland, brought the records over where I was shooting. You auditioned Max here at the house. A week later, I think it was you who called and said, Keener's doing this film into the wild over the coast. Could you go hang out with her? So we went to Astoria, hung out in a hotel conference room. And I remember it was like I had to work that day, so I was a little tense. And Max Records was right giving it to me right back. I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't see it. Maybe because your nose is so big. Your eyes can't see around it. We sent the audition down to Spike and he loved him. We get a phone call saying, hey, can Max be in LA on Tuesday? He didn't actually make me read any lines or anything. He just made me run around and shot a Nerf gun at me. And down in the parking lot, 50 yards away, I can hear them screaming. And all along, Max did not have any false hopes. I did not have any false hopes because we we're all just of the opinion, there's no way this is going to happen, but look at this fun trip we get this weekend out of it, you know? At one point, we're in the casting office, and I realized that they've got this board in the wall with every character and a headshot for every actor playing that character. And when it came to Max, there were three pictures on the wall, and his was among them. I was like, oh shit, that's what this is. Once I was alone with Jenny and her mom in the kitchen, I'm like, I think they're gonna call. He just really stood out. I think his naturalness and his just purity of spirit just really came out. He's also a beautiful, open face, very smart. I think I would attribute a lot of his specialness to his parents. His parents are just really down to earth and cool. The day he was offered the part, I didn't sleep for two days. I mean, I couldn't. You know, I I I remember like walking the dog around the neighborhood at three o'clock in the morning because I didn't know what else to do with myself. We still don't know what it means in terms of how it will affect our day-to-day -day lives and Max's day-to-day -day life. And I'm sure I've got an ulcer the size of a baseball about that question. Our neighbors across the way who have lived there for two years, they love the trailer. They didn't know that was Max. Like they found out three days ago. Um, <laughs> I love that. You know, that's that's fantastic. Max has a younger brother Sam, and so they all sort of came together, and you know the whole family for this five-month period. Say, hello. Hello. My name is hello. Sam Records. Hello. Hold on. Hello. Look at the camera. Okay. Sam is Max's younger brother. He was uh, four, I think, at the time. For a lot of people involved, Sam was the life of the party. Right. Sam Records was basically the the P.T. Barnum of our, our production. We'd all get into the tent at, you know, at lunch and he'd be always the first one in the lunch, welcoming everybody. He knew everybody's name. Like, I didn't know everybody's name. There was like, the crew was like, at times, like almost 150 people. His name is Matt and he's, and he rooms with at Hammer and Deb. Deb. Deb's in. Uh -huh. And Deb's in. Hi. Oh, and who? If Max Records, he's in the row and all Max Records out. And what is Max cool. Records doing? Sam Records assistant director. Yes. He also, for some reason, got fascinated by Thomas Smith, our first AD. And like, I can imagine how it would be fascinating. A man with a microphone who speaks to everyone and everyone does what he says. Action! Action! Sam got a little, like, toy microphone and just started pretending like, he was Thomas. Smoke it up. Smoke it up a little. So he'd be at home, like, walking around behind Max saying, Max, back to one. Okay, do it again. Good, good, good. You can be red in camera now. Okay. Back to one, two long things. That being my first, like, actual acting job, I, I, I didn't really have any idea anything was going to be what it was. I've sort of heard from so many people about just film sets in that world, and I've seen it a little bit, where it, generally it's like a bunch of dirty 20-somethings who are like smoking off the sidelines, and uh, 
this was not that shoot. Like this shoot was really fun and there are lots of kids and you know like still one of the things that Max misses the most about the whole thing was like after lunch when the kids would go play hacky sack with Matt, the photographer. I still think like to this day probably half the crew thought that I was the most like obsessive parent ever because I shot close to 10,000 photographs over the course of that production. Sean's a photographer and shoots really beautiful photos, just very observed. There's nothing contrived about his photos, but they're always capturing something and seeing something, and sometimes funny, sometimes sweet, and sometimes just sort of odd. Most of my shooting is far back, sort of these, these landscapes where there's this chaos of the production and my son. I was interested in this absurd adventure that falls out of the sky and our role in it. I really appreciate that Sean and Jenny gave me the room to have a relationship with Max. It was both what I needed to have to make the movie, but also like a relationship I really love and value, and I love Max. It was as simple as, here's this adventure, do we take it and deal with whatever problems come about, or do we not take it and always wonder what it would have been like? And so we, we opted for the adventure. Oh, who's not ready? Um, we're ready, of course.